Hello whiskey lovers, good morning and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. Today I would like to talk to you about a very special whiskey, but before we do that, I first want to reach a very special place. We're hiking all the way up there to the Notre Dame de Saint Beauvoir, a little church at the top of the mountain here in Montferrat in the Provence. But it will be quite a hike before we are there, so let's, let's move this along. A one kilometer trek, but we finally made it to the Notre Dame de Beauvoir at an altitude of 680 meters with a stunning view of Montferrat and surroundings. It was quite the trek, but well worth it. The solitude of this place makes me humble. But enough already with the touristy things. We are here, of course, to talk about a whiskey. And the whiskey that I would like to try today is one from Milk and Honey Distillery. The milk and honey distillery can be found in Tel Aviv in Israel, not the first country you would think of when you think about, uh, about whiskey. But they've been around for a while and I have to be honest, they've grown on me. I've become quite fond of uh, milk and honey's whiskies. And there is one series called Apex, the milk and honey Apex. And Apex means top, the top, which is, see what I did there? Where we are not anyway apex means stop and it's their best expression so far at least according to their master distiller mr tomer goren and there are several apex expressions such as the uh the white wine the the pomegranate quite quite good a rum and this one finished on cognac casks they don't reveal which cognac house they use and it could be each and any one of them all i know is that it is a small cognac producer from france well, obviously from France, it's cognac, but uh, they don't reveal which producer they, uh, they collaborated with. It could be any one of them. There's literally hundreds of little cognac producing families in France. <sighs> so we will be trying this Milk and Honey Apex cognac cask. And uh, this is bottled at 59.4% ABV. They've actually made 1,077 uh, bottles of this. Uh, distilled in 2017 and uh, bottled in 2020. Whew. Beautiful color. Let me just get rid of the hat here for a second. Whew. Ah. Yeah, you can't tell, or maybe you can. Well, you can't feel it through the camera, of course, but it's scorchingly hot here on top of this mountain. It's around 35 degrees Celsius. It's the peak of summer. And here we are trying a single malt. Why the hell not? Look at that beautiful bronze color and look how it clings to the glass. Absolutely stunning. This is going to be a cloying, sweet, full-bodied malt. I can already tell. Beautiful color. Ah, beauties in the eye of the beholder. The uh, milk and honey apex cognac casks on the nose. I get notes of apple sauce, pa pastry, cocoa powder, chocolate with apricots, some peach, cinnamon and cloves. There's a lot going on here and you can in fact discern a bit of cognac notes in there. There's also some late aniseed and some acacia honey. Oh, this is definitely off to a good start. Right, on the palate. Mmm, creamy, as promised. Oh, it's almost syrupy. It's very powerful, in fact. 59.4 percent, percent, excuse me. <laughs> Just goes to show. Very powerful, in fact. Uh, I get cinnamon again, some cloves, and even some chili pepper, but also some mint. So you have these very strong and powerful peppery notes, and then some lifting mint, making a fine counterbalance. And then the fruit kicks in. I get some red fruit, some yellow fruit, and a truckload of baked apples. And that is, without a shred of a doubt, the influence of the cognac casks. This is a beautiful, beautiful Israeli whiskey. On the finish. Ah, nicely long, more baked apples, 
some malty notes there, a bit of burnt butter towards the end. Mm -hmm. Very satisfying indeed. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a very, very impressive whiskey from Tel Aviv, especially considering the young age. Wow. Milk and Honey has, in a very short period of time, really won me over completely, completely, you know, and I am very much looking forward to trying each and every of their releases. So, uh, Mr. Tomer Goren, master distiller of uh, Milk and Honey, well done indeed, sir. Keep up the good work. And for all of you, uh, until we meet again, I hope to see you soon at one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. And until then, may the mob be with you. Bye-bye. Thank you.